Jay and the train can't be. Well, that would exp I said this is between. Now, we're gonna have all the camp guards on our asses after that. Damn, you killed a technomancer. I didn't think it was even possible. Of course you can kill them. They're human beings, you know? What? W what are you doing? Are we going? Shouldn't we get rid of this thing? What are we gonna do with that? It'll give us a better chance to escape. And that's what they use for their magic. All these wires? You're gonna sell them? Shit. Never thought I'd put these things back on. Put them back on? Roy, what are you saying? You know how to use these things? Yes. Now let's go. Jay, we're here. The train ready? Almost. Just a few more minutes, kid, and we'll be breathing trail dust. It's not over yet, Jay. There's an entire regiment on our ass. There's no way to get this machine to go any faster. No, Roy. Sorry. I've done my best, but I got an idea. I'll hold them off. Don't be stupid, Jay. If you go, they'll kill you. Let's face it, I got a better chance of slowing them down than you. You gotta be kidding. Why not just call me a fucking pussy? You keep an eye on the kid. You guys are almost family. It'd tear him up if something happened to you. Get them! Stay there. I'll find another way to get out. See you in Shadow Lair. Now go! They... They're going to kill him, aren't they? Yes. Let's just make sure his sacrifice won't be for nothing. Master? Master! Sean? It... it can't be. Not you. How could that monster kill you? How dare he take your things? He'll pay for this, I swear. I'll hunt him to hell if I have to. The man who saved me, and who got me involved in this unbelievable escape, had more facets to his personality than I could ever have imagined. Roy's strong, and he's brave, and he's been a true friend to me. But he has a dark side and doesn't blink an eye when looking down on someone he's just killed. I'm lucky to be counted amongst his friends. It's when I learned he was a technomancer that he started making sense to me. His knowledge about relics, his attitude, he's different from anyone I'd ever met before. His mastery of technomancy, it sets him apart. The last pieces started coming together when I discovered he was a fugitive. That he had fled the source to escape the gilded cage of the technomancers. He risked it all to be free. If his need for freedom pushed him to escape the Technomancers, 
A POW camp in the middle of the desert would never suit him. The journey is long. We have to avoid being recaptured by abundance and get back behind our own lines. Aurora seems to have won the war, and both sides are demobilizing troops. We've abandoned the train, moving from one shadow line to the next, staying away from marauders. I had more than enough time to question him about his past and what went on at the camp. What he thought of Sean and his apprentice, for example. He doesn't always answer. To be honest, he rarely does at all. But I know him a whole lot better all the same. At least, I like to think so. I'm proud to know him. I hope a little of his strength rubs off on me. You sure your parents are gonna be okay with someone like me coming around? Even if I am bringing the prodigal son back. You'll be welcome. My parents are in the militia. I can't wait to tell them all you did for me. Many things seem to have changed while we were away, and that includes the militia's popularity. We'll see. You were lucky enough to snag some clothes your size. That'll be more discreet than those prison uniforms. And I have the feeling this will prove useful around here. Hey, you! Papers! I know this is gonna sound like science fiction to you, but I managed to escape from Abundance's prison camps. Those bastards. They make me sick. They sure gave us hell on the battlefield. But we still took Green Hope. And where were you? Which camp? Do you happen to know Prowess Martin? Those pigs got him, too. He was captured during the fights on the 12th Highway. You know, there are several camps, Sergeant. And even if he happened to be in mine, it's a big one. I don't know every prisoner. Yeah, too bad. I just wish I had some news about him. Those abundance bastards don't let anything through. Anyway, where are your papers? I know you have a hard and unsatisfying job. How about I make your life a little easier and you forget you ever saw us? Are you, like, trying to bribe us? With what happened lately, that would be just as good as signing our own death warrant. Where are your papers?
Listen, Sarge. I know how stupid it may sound, but I forgot him at home. And you forgot your uniform, too? What the fuck is that attire? I've just been released from Abundance's prison camps, and I just arrived in town, hence the clothes. But please be kind, Sergeant. All I want right now is to go back home. They always give the uniform back to the prisoners they release. Their uniform and their papers. What kind of stupid fuck do you think I am? Come on, we're taking you in.
can't believe that place is still there. A little further. The store's on the left. Obvious we're not safe here, especially if they're watching the house. Come on. Roy, my parents are dead, aren't they? Look, they're probably dead. Yeah, and I understand you want to know more about it, but I'm pretty sure they won't want you to go risking your life over it. We gotta go. I... yeah, you're right, Roy. Stop right there!